I'm Elizabeth Hoffeditz or Libby Hoffeditz. I will be graduating in 2024. My major is biology on the organismal and ecology track, and I have a minor in marine science. So the majority of my time is spent working with the Marine Science Club. I'm the vice president this year. Uh, we take care of the three 60 gallon fish tanks in BAME on the second floor. Uh, so actually today we just moved one onto a new stand and um, it's just a long process. We take care of the fish, we feed them, make sure salinity, temperature, everything's good to go. We order all of that stuff it is completely student run. Um, we're in the process of training a lot of new individuals to help take care of those tanks. I want to thank two clownfish, Cosmo and Wanda, uh, an arrow crab named Lieutenant Dan because four <laughs> of his legs were chopped off when we first got him, <laughs> and a royal grandma named Bruno. And then in the other tank, it's our wallop tank, so it's brackish, um, and it's what we bring back from the Chincoteague uh, Bay. So we have two striped hermit crabs. I don't remember the exact species, but the one is huge. Uh, we have a codefish and another small hermit crab. So they're on the second floor of Bame, also right by the fish tank. Uh, there's seven teeth in total. Um, five of them are the lineage up until the megalodon shark. So the megalodon tooth is there and it's huge. So you should definitely go look at it. Um, and I made the signs and everything for that as well. Uh, I've been involved since last year when I transferred here. I was a parliamentarian last year. I planned the uh, aquarium trip last spring. We went to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. So I was able to order all the tickets, communicate back and forth and get us all there. So my freshman year, I went to a different university and I was originally a forensic science major my first semester. Um, but I realized around halfway through the semester, I probably didn't want to work with dead people every day. Um, so I decided to switch my major to just biology there. Um, and I realized that I love the outdoors. I love animals. And um, I was really pa I'm really passionate about climate change and um, getting people to actually listen. So when I transferred here, I decided to continue with the biology major, but focus in on, you know, the plants and animals of it. And I also love the ocean. And so I just decided as a marine science minor, it would be easier to um, transfer over in the same major. Um, but I would love to work uh, in marine ecosystems and climate change in the future. I um, transferred to Kutztown, I chose Kutztown because of one, the marine science program that, that we have here. And I also knew some people that went here already. Hmm. So I knew that I wouldn't be completely alone and figuring out what everything was happening. But I also saw that there's a transfer living community. Um, and so that's actually what I did last year. And I met a few other transfers and we we're like all living in the same building and still hanging out and everything. Um, but academic wise, um, I definitely see myself going to graduate school after this, um, starting to look at them this year, which is a little scary. It was on the website when I was looking and also I attended one Zoom meeting and when I visited, they talked about different living communities that they have on campus. Um, and the transfer living community is one of them. Um, it's in Dixon, so. That's where I lived last year. If you're a marine science student at Kutztown, major or minor, you have to take two to three classes at the field station. Um, so it's the Chincoteague Bay field station. A lot of the other Pashi schools send their students there too. Um, where is it? So it's um, on Wallops Island, Virginia. It's right beside like the NASA base that's there. Um, and so you just, there are three week courses during the summer that you'd have to take. I took two last um, summer since I only need to take two as a minor, but a lot of the marine science courses also go on field trips during the semester for a weekend down there. So I'll be going in two weekends for marine biology. It's 
a lot all up in the area now, but I am definitely looking into um, marine conservation uh, programs. So I found, I know Duke has a marine conservation uh, master's program at least. And I'm still deciding if I want a master's or a PhD. So <laughs> a lot to decide. Probably two things. Um, I'm definitely proud of how far we've gotten the Marine Science Club since COVID kind of shut down and everything uh, got dismantled. So um, the president and I are quite literally picking the club back up from the ground. And there's a tank room in the Marine Science Lab that has been left basically for two years. And so we're like, have to go through, we're cleaning all that out um, and hopefully getting the new system in place. So that I'm definitely proud of because it's taken hours upon hours upon hours to do. Um, but I'm also proud of the research I was able to do last semester. It was for a class. I did research on uh, temperature affecting the development stages of parasites found in organic pigs. Um, and so I have a poster hanging up in BAME that I made all about it. Um, and it was hours of looking through a microscope at like 6 p.m. So I'm proud of that too. And it's cliche, but definitely get involved because I've made a ton of friends getting involved and in doing things that I'm passionate about and finding people that are also passionate about the same things. Um, I wouldn't want to spend my Friday afternoons walking around with salt water all over me with uh, any other people. So definitely get involved and find what you're passionate about. So well, I'm looking forward to um, getting into some more of the harder classes, I guess. Um, I mean, I've been taking them, but um, I'm also excited to see um, I get an internship or if I end up doing research, what that's gonna look like. Um, and also just talking to my professors about careers and graduate schools, since I'm just now starting to navigate all of that. And I'm not sure what my job title will be eventually in the future, but at least getting on the right path towards what I wanna do.